The Wilderness Altar is so overrated. Unless you can't make like 2 million gold pieces per hour, it's not worth it. Well, why don't we test that out? I'm gonna be going to Wildy Altar with 19,000 noted dragon bones. Why? Because that's roughly how many bones I'll need to get to 99, and it also means the only times I'll need to bank is if I need stamina potions or a PKR gets on me. I ended up purchasing these 19,000 dragon bones for 56.6 million GP, meaning that if I'd used Gilded Altar, I would have needed 38,000 dragon bones and 113 million GP respectively. The gear setup may surprise you as it looks very cheap, but that is not an accident. My goal was to look broke and newbie so that PKRs would think I risk a maximum of maybe 100 dragon bones. This means I won't get scouted as heavily. By the way, if you'd like to see sneak peeks of these videos as well as occasional streams of the editing process, then stop into the PP Palace Discord. Beyond this, the channel was just accepted for things such as super chats as well as memberships, so if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so and receive things like voice shoutouts and other beneficial perks. You can see what those are in the description. But anyways, my goal of this video is to not die a single time, and if I am to die, the video ends. Let's get started. Well, that was quick. There we go, if I still remember how to do this correctly. Well, <sighs> maybe this is gonna be harder than I thought. I thought the wilderness was supposed to be dead. What's going on? Oh, oh my God! Oh! Are you, are they not recording? Are you recording, Pritchard? I'm just now starting to realize that having a stamina potion might be needed considering how fast I'm going through these inventories. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some stamina potions for this. Hey, Helsinki. Landed on a airport there once. It's in Finland. There's 87 prayer. Currently at about 550,000 experience per hour right now. If I'm being honest, I'm slightly considering buying the Ring of Endurance so I can have more charges or uh, longer lasting staminas and I don't have to fill up the inventory as much. Going at it for 23 minutes now and I've had to hop about six or seven times. Ah, he hit me. You son of a bitch. Easy escape. Oh, man. So he brought the spellbook swap. Whew. Man, getting a scare like that so early on in the video. This video is almost over before it even began. Well, it's a really good thing that I did bring the, uh, I did bring the freezes then, because if I didn't, then that for sure would have been a death. All right, so I think I'm going to decide to take the plunge here and buy the Ring of Endurance. After looking at what it really does for you, it should save on inventory space and should make it so I don't have to bank for a stamina potion as often. All right, and the ring is fully charged, and I swapped out the Ring of Wealth, and I'm going to be using a combat bracelet for the teleports now. There's 88 prayer. Very nice. All right, so we're going to take our first dose here. And as you can see, it replenishes 40 run energy instead of 20. And it should last twice as long now. We just passed an hour on the timer of doing this. We've had to hop quite a few times and we had one person get on us. Hey, we've been on this world for more than two minutes. I think that's a new record. Ooh, two boys. Was that three? That was three. Three people logging in at once. Glad I was outside of the hut for that. Like I was saying though, Ring of Endurance is kind of insane. It has been a good while here and I still have only gone through two doses of my stamina. I probably only needed to bring one pot to be honest. There is nobody out here. Not, I'm not talking just PKers. I'm talking like there's nobody training bones at these altars. I've seen more PKers than I have seen people at the altar training prayer. And that is definitely a first. What is the... Oh, God. Oh, man, that was scary. ZGS back. Where was the clan? Oh, my God. I thought it was over right there. I was so slow on the logout. Oh, man, his clan was sleeping on that one. 
There's 89 prayer, just over 5 million prayer XP there. I'm actually going to change the setup of this so that we can see the progress bar again. Usually I don't like seeing the progress bar, but I think for the video it would be a good idea. And there we have it, 90 prayer. God damn it, don't get the freeze. Loser! <laughs> oh come on, you gotta hit that. You have your AGS on crush, bro. What are you doing? Later, buddy. There we go. 91 prayer. Oh, man. I don't know what was going in that little tile right there, but uh, I don't want to find out. Orgy and the Wildy. That could be a song. It's an orgy in the Wildy. It's an orgy in the Wildy. My body needs blowing to scupper me. Come on now, orgy in the wildy. Putting bones on his altar while getting blown by pennies. Oh no. Said an orgy. Yeah, I might just make that. And so I'm making sure, like, even that guy, his name is Iron. You know, he, he, can you really suspect a guy that's got Iron in his name? I'm going to tell you, when you're risking more than 40 mil, you can't trust that man. Definitely not trusting womb invaders, I'll tell you that. There we go. 92 prayer, halfway there. And there we have it, 93 prayer. Reaction time's going to be a bit slow considering it is early in the morning, so hopefully that's not the death of me. As far as the inventory management is concerned with this method, I think if you're risking this much, this is about the least amount of food you would bring. You have to obviously have enough room for the bones themselves, but you don't want to be at the point where you run out of supplies trying to get to 30 wildy, which could happen if I run into somebody that's good enough. You know, getting all these prayer levels makes me think, we need a new prayer, man. It's kind of depressing that the extent of your boosts when it comes to prayer stop at 76. 76? There should at least be a couple of prayers that are in the 80 levels. Of course, maybe I'm just biased because currently I am training prayer to 99. There we have it. 94 prayer. Five more levels to go. Oh, no. Oh, he's going for the TB. Well, that means I got to do this. It looks like he does not have seeds. Goodbye, my friend. And it's just that easy, folks. People bring in so many TBs to the Wildy altar. Never used to see this. It's probably because once you got to 30 Wildy, you were safe anyways because of the Anku box. Now that it's no longer the case. Okay, what on earth was that? That had to be around 15. No, maybe not 15, but it was at least over 10. Ooh, was that guy in a staff of the dead in multi? Goodness gracious. Oh, and now we've got more people here. John, John Jacob Finkel, Heimer Schwitt. Butter excavator. I do like me some butter. Is this the same guy? Bro, I think this is the same exact guy. The fact that he's caught me out twice now is just kind of embarrassing. There you go. That's all that needs to be done, really. He's got to start. You think he'd start bringing seeds at some point. And with this inventory of bones, we have officially made it under the 10,000 mark. I am now happy with dying. Well, I'm not happy with dying, of course, but if I were to die, I'd say I'd accomplished enough here and proven that you can indeed take ridiculous amounts of risk to the Wilty Altar or ridiculous amounts of bones and still make it out okay if you know what you're doing. You know if they hop right there that it's got to be a PKer. Like, there's no chance it ain't. Nobody hops in that spot unless they be PKing, and usually if they hop in that spot, they've got some decent risk on them too. We left your key in a mausoleum. Down in the sea. Okay, interesting. And he leaves me be. There we go, 95 prayer. Four more levels left now. If I decided to use superior dragon bones instead of dragon bones, obviously the time to do this method would be cut in half. So I could already be done with 99 prayer with superior dragon bones. But obviously those cost way more and are nowhere near as cost effective, so that's why I'm not using them. Just in this session right now, we're at two hours, and in the two hours, we have made 1.2 million experience. So actually, sitting at a rate of about 600k an hour for the two hours so far, that's really good. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I am pretty, oh so pretty, 
And I feel so happy and gay. I'm running out of stamina here, but I just want to get 96 prayer before I head back. And 96 prayer, three levels to go. The last inventory, 86 to 99 prayer without a single death. Woo! That is amazing. 126 combat, 99s in all the combat skills, and now I can get my prayer cape. Anyways, I've calc it all out and it ended up being 15 hours, 57 minutes, and 57 seconds, leading up to an XP rate of just about 575k per hour. This is actually higher than most of the wikis will tell you that the XP rate is. A lot of them I see them saying you can get up to maybe 500k an hour, which just isn't right. If you don't die and you bring noted bones, you can make over 500k an hour. In fact, there was a couple of hours that I had over 600k an hour. So for the last bit of this video, I'm going to take the rest of these 771 dragon bones and I'm going to use them on a gilded altar in the player owned house and see how the XP rate holds up. All right, this is the last inventory. Currently sitting at around 650,000 prayer XP per hour, 75 to 85K more XP per hour at around double the price. So I'm going to do a couple of calcs and see where we're at to see if the Wildy Altar truly is worth it. All right, so at 650, k an hour starting from my level of 86 i would have gotten to 99 in 14 hours and seven minutes at the gilded altar so i would have saved one hour and 50 minutes on my grind but i would have also spent an extra 57 million gold so this means that the wildy altar is definitely worth it unless you can make 57 million gold in an hour and 50 minutes and for most players that's not the case. If you'd like to know more about the most worthwhile areas in the Wildy, you can check out this video here. I'd also like to give a shout out to everybody that supported me on YouTube and Twitch. You guys are seriously amazing. Thank you so much. Those people include the ones listed on here, as well as Mr. Snowmiser, Hamster King 5, and Mia IRL. If you'd like your name up on this lovely list, you can become a member, or you can leave a super chat down in the comments, and I'll make sure and get you on for the next video. Thanks again.